Morning, Copenhagen, Denmark. The leaders are busy in the Bella Center finding ways to combat the latest scourge to strike the planet, climate change. Meanwhile, there is tension brewing outside. Activists from environmental groups, residents and media persons vie for space to have a say on the issue. Climate change has raised many eyebrows and this international summit is a stark reminder of that. Nobody for sure can say if the summit is a success or a failure. But one thing is certain, people have begun to talk climate change. Climate change made its way to St. Joseph's College too when the Department of Communication organized alternatives to Copenhagen. It proved to be a fact that there was so much to be discussed and done about climate change. The two-day seminar was inaugurated by planting saplings. It surely is the need of the hour. What were the issues overlooked by the opinion leaders and politicians in Copenhagen? With the climate crisis ever rising, what is the world heading to? What can the youth do as agents of protecting Earth? These were some of the alternative themes that found a thought at the seminar. Much of the destruction that has been taking place is primarily because of the capitalist countries. And in some way, they want to fool us by organizing international conferences like Copenhagen. All our development centers all over the world don't use plastics. We don't have plastic bags, and we only need that. In Infosys in Bangalore, uh, we have uh, several vendors who are inside. We have food courts, we have some, I think, six food courts. So all these people are going to go to buy a t-shirt. You cannot, they will not give you a plastic cover, they will give you a paper cover. Okay. Uh, because of my presentation, I'm sure, I don't know how many people have seen the video on my own. These are all the vendors. I mean, uh, the sheer size of the pitch will be really, uh, you know, when you think about the lesson. We have a difficulty with the demand of the lesson, we have three plates. You'll be surprised to see that uh, India is the fifth and largest of the world in the world. I think we have a zone of India is a huge picture. Before we start, I'd like to say what interested me in Copenhagen were wind farms, which one talked about just now. That is something that we haven't seen, the offshore wind farms, which they have in a huge way in Denmark. And uh, what he brought out was that is clean energy and which is reliable and which we have all seen this morning. When we don't have reliable energy, what happens to all of us? We are stuck. So if we do change to reliable energy, that is something that we could look forward to in the future. Uh, when this hot topic is being discussed, uh, especially the Copenhagen Supreme, that is the mainly some global warming and climate change. Uh, climate change is inevitable. We all know that uh, climate has been changing over uh, several million years. We have passed out from ice age to the present stage, mainly because of warming, radiation received by the earth and our things. But there have been a lot of catastrophes due to sudden change in climate. All the different messages that the package during COP 15 as you, we want to make as creative and as um, fun at the same time hard to make for everybody who is the one that was. Just want to be computerized, we want to be given to guys, 10% emissions down by 2040. We have repeatedly told the people that you know if you have, if the two of you are doing this, please involve the third. And please involve the fourth, please involve the first. Don't stop and don't make it out as if we are the two great environmental champions in this building. I think about the GDP is a particular it's a genetically engineered system that is being brought into the environment. And there's a mechanism of cut and paste that is used. Kind of a living organism that is implanted into the crop, there is no control over it. It just continues to spread and spread and spread. So it's absolutely irreversible. Secondly, it's untraceable.
because how can you tell from a ritual that it has the component of energy or not? She cannot trace it. The seminar was not just about talk and debate. Participants came from other colleges and were received by large banners speaking for the cause of climate change. Stalls selling t-shirts, saplings and recycled paper products had a good turnout. Innovative modes of promoting the cause were the order of the day. Photography and painting competitions on climate and environment themes were conducted among college and school students respectively. Dance competition and a theater performance at the end of the day was a good wrap up to the two day event. that easy to cut a tree and go to a metro. There are departments, uh, the tree officer's permission of the city corporation is needed. In places like Lalbagh, it is too stringent. It has to go to cabinet to give an exemption to a law. There were, when they wanted some land for a metro, it was a very long process. It's taken more than one and a half years to make the clear thing, to show that it is unavoidable. But uh, there are certain things you have to pay the price for cost of development. Because of the kind of um, pollination that can happen through uh, while one, one farm is having a GM crop and then another farm can get GM crops and this can pass on so much that it's a the environment uh, the impacts on the environment come through us so it's like we won't know whether we are eating GM food or we are not eating GM food. We thought about having this event was not just because it was a part of a project, but also we, we wanted to have a social awareness created about some particular topic. And we thought that the best right now, you know, keeping in mind what happened in Copenhagen, some say it was a failure and some say it was not. So we wanted to come here and discuss as to why uh, should we save the climate. Great experience, a deep work. Uh, especially after having attended uh, COP15 in Copenhagen, I feel the alternatives is more important than what all of us media said. That there was a failure there. For me, I feel it wasn't a failure. All these kind of events which raise awareness with student journalists is what's important so that we spread the word that climate change is something that we've got to handle and not wait for politicians to do. Climate change may not see an immediate solution, but St. Joseph's College and its Department of Communication have taken their first step towards a cleaner and greener future.